In the latest days of our lives update for April 8, tensions rise as Constantine's true intentions come into question. Julie suspects his ulterior motives toward Maggie, raising concerns about his sudden disappearance. Meanwhile, Constantine's agenda becomes clear as he maneuvers to secure the Kiriaki's fortune, using Teresa as a pawn in his plan. Brady is left grappling with renewed feelings for Teresa, complicating their supposedly platonic relationship. On another front, Kayla learns of Steve's collaboration with John to free Clyde Weston, a move she vehemently opposes. As John grapples with personal demons from Greece, he faces scrutiny over his involvement with Steve's actions. The story takes a darker turn as John's past threatens to resurface, leading to potential consequences. In a separate storyline, Maggie confronts Constantine about his visa issues, prompting him to suggest marriage as a solution to stay in Salem. Xander intervenes, wary of Constantine's intentions, setting the stage for a complex and unpredictable twist. Amidst the drama, there's a looming secret waiting to be uncovered involving Holly, potentially tying back to Nicole's past. As the Salem community navigates these intricate plotlines, viewers can anticipate explosive confrontations and unexpected alliances shaping the course of their favorite characters' lives. In other news, Days of Our Lives star Eric Martzolf celebrates his twin son's milestone birthday, sharing heartwarming memories and glimpses into their journey from childhood to adolescence. Join us as we commemorate this special occasion and reflect on the cherished moments that define their family's story. Welcome to a pastime shows, where the drama unfolds and the stories captivate. Join us as we delve into the intriguing world of A Days of Our Lives, revealing the untold tales and hidden truths behind the headlines. Days of Our Lives updated on April 8, Monday. Constantine interrupts, Brady is shocked and Kayla is in denial. According to the Monday, April 8th spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Julie Williams will sabotage Constantine Meliuni's attempt to turn up the charm and make Maggie Kiriakis fall even more deeply. Julie will start to question Constantine's intentions as soon as she sees his cunning side in action, and she will undoubtedly be cautious. Julie might caution Maggie about Constantine and his intentions after he decides to become less visible. Julie can tell when someone is acting fake, so she might assume Maggie needs to put a bubble wrap around her heart. Constantine will meet Teresa Donovan in the interim and realize that this is the ideal chance to find out how Alex Kiriakis is doing. Teresa might admit that she agreed to take Alex's offer to move back in, but if Constantine learns that she's back to being a roommate, he won't be happy. According to Day spoilers, Constantine will exert additional pressure because he requires a fallback strategy to obtain the Kiriaki's fortune. Constantine believes that Teresa's marriage to Alex is a route to financial success, therefore he will encourage Teresa to rekindle their romance and persuade Alex to pop the question. Alex will next speak with Brady Black about Teresa and their individual relationships with her on Monday's episode of Days of Our Lives. According to teasers for days, Alex might try to find out if Tate Black's trauma has made Teresa and Brady closer. Brady may acknowledge it, but he'll probably attempt to persuade Teresa and even himself that their relationship is only platonic. We believe that things will soon get nasty because Brady seems to be secretly falling back in love with Teresa. Steve Johnson might tell Kayla Johnson about teaming up with John Black to start Clyde Weston's jail break since he has an admission to make across town. Kayla will subsequently ball her fist and throw it at John's chest as soon as she has further information about his involvement. Kayla might believe that rather than assisting Steve in freeing the dangerous Clyde from Statesville, John ought to have been the voice of reason. But since Steve was only attempting to do everything within his power to save Wendy Shin and Trip Johnson, John is probably going to stand up for him. John will still be thinking about what happened with Katharina in Greece, thus he will already be thinking about more serious issues. According to previews for days, Harris Michaels may confess that living in Bayview gave him a greater sense of peace about being completely deprogrammed when John questions him about it. 
Will John consent to Marlena Evans committing him to Bayview as well? John may believe that he requires new treatment because he fears that his training could resurface and influence his behavior in the here and now. Keep checking back for updates on John's tragic storyline as spoilers on Days of Our Lives indicate he will continue to struggle with a lot of difficult emotions. Days of Our Lives Spoilers Constantine says he left Salem due to pressure from Maggie's marriage proposal and his expired visa. According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Maggie Kiriakis will receive updates from Constantine Meliunis regarding some news that could have an impact on their future. Fans of Days of Our Lives are aware of Constantine's skill as a manipulator, so expect him to continue doing so over the week of April 8th to 12th. Maggie will hear Constantine's words of appreciation and his desire to continue their bonding, but in the end, he will say, goodbye, to Salem. Maggie will naturally object right away, but Constantine will maintain that he has no control over this. Constantine will tell Maggie that his visa has expired and that he has no choice but to leave. Day's teasers indicate that Constantine will wax lyrical about what a great place Salem is. Constantine will lament leaving it behind since he says he feels like he belongs to the community there. You can be sure Constantine will mention how much he will miss Maggie. Constantine will undoubtedly rank Maggie first after discussing all the qualities he has grown to love about living in Salem. According to Day's spoilers, once Constantine confesses about the expired visa, he will start giving Maggie cues in the hopes that she would figure out a way to let him stay. In an earlier discussion, Constantine recommended marriage as a possible means of staying in the nation. Given the current state of affairs regarding the expired visa, that thought might surface once more. Naturally, Constantine would want to avoid giving the impression that he is playing tricks on Maggie, so he will need to be tactful and let her draw her own conclusions. Will Maggie eventually ask Constantine to marry her and insist that he stay in Salem? Maggie can consider it as a possibility while she frantically tries to keep Constantine near. However, day teasers indicate that Xander Cook will cut this conversation short and display his protective nature. Xander will try to provoke Constantine and undermine his efforts to be the nice guy, but he won't be fooled by Xander's attempts to be clever. According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Constantine will be hoping to move a step closer to the Kiriaki's money. Stay tuned for more predictions regarding Maggie's predicament and whether or not she will consent to marry him. Spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Holly's Atonement, Discovering Jude's Secret and Regaining Nicole's Baby? According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Holly Jonas said Nicole DiMera some rather offensive things after she found out about her punishment. The April 4th episode of Days of Our Lives featured a heated mother-daughter argument because Holly fiercely retaliated. It was one of those scenes where the sheer joy of soap operas was brought to light. We kind of understood Holly's point when she disparaged Nicole's love life. Fans of Days have undoubtedly seen Nicole's disastrous relationships over the years, so we understand Holly's perspective. In light of everything Holly has recently caused Nicole to go through, Holly was also acting like a spoiled brat. Nicole is attempting to assist her daughter in abstaining from drugs and alcohol, which makes sense given that she was afraid Holly would never awaken from her coma. In addition to being unkind to Tate Black and his family, Holly also made E.J. DeMera appear foolish in his capacity as district attorney for Salem. It's true that a few other days' characters share some of the guilt for what transpired, but Holly undoubtedly needs to learn her lesson and receive some harsh love. Holly comes across as a demanding, conceited teenager who still has a lot to learn. Holly deserves a second chance to make amends for all the problems she caused and the terrible rant she let out. This is especially relevant because Holly is still generating problems. Will Days give Holly another chance to put things right later on, or are there still more mistakes to come? After all, there's a big secret out there that is just waiting for the right person to find it. Is Holly the one who will discover that, as Nicole first thought, Sloane Peterson Brady kidnapped her son? 
Perhaps Holly could listen in on something she shouldn't have and investigate further. It could result in Holly and Tate working together covertly to piece together the facts and obtain the evidence required to give Jude Brady back to Nicole. Holly should work through all of this and assist in returning her newborn brother to Nicole's arms. Holly needs to stop being such a teenage wrecking ball and have a heroic moment. Days of our live spoilers indicate that some startling Jude information must surface sooner or later, so we'll provide you with some guesses on how everyone will learn the truth. Brutal face-offs and honeymoon. Prepare for a momentous week in Salem. According to a preview of spoilers for Days of Our Lives, a couple sale mites spark some intense confrontations, and one reveals a whole new side to a mysterious figure. Johnny and Chanel, who recently got married, have romantic plans as well. This is a preview of your day's video for the week of April 8th to 12th, 2024. Taking off. When Kayla and John finally meet, they have a stimulating conversation. Kayla says, I have something for you. Yes, what's that? asks John in response. She hits him hard in the chest, so it's not exactly what he would have imagined. John lets out a moan. Family conflict. When Kristen discovers Holly conversing with Rachel at the DeMera estate, she reacts, let's say, not well. The teenager is forewarned by Kristen, you stay away from my daughter. After learning about what happened, Nicole confronts Kristen. Kristen exclaims, you come after me because you want to go after someone. You want to go to war, Nicole? Kristen shoots back. Nicole doesn't give up, she says, yes, I do. Okay, let's get started, Kristen replies, extending her arm to strike her. Fortunately, EJ grabs Kristen's arm and stops his sister from hitting his wife. A shift in personality. Everett and Stephanie have a serious conversation about the proof that he is using a different identity. Stephanie says, you were ID'd as Robert Stein. She is caught off guard by Everett's response. Following a grumble, he declares, don't you ever call me that again. She's never seen this dangerous side of Everett before. The honeymoon was cut short. Meanwhile, Johnny and Chanel are finally enjoying their much-awaited honeymoon at the Horton cabin. After Johnny builds a warm fire, the couple raises a glass to each other. To our honeymoon, Chanel replies. They will soon be ripping off each other's clothes and making love on the couch. But then someone bursts through the door, violently interrupting them. However, who is it? Take a look back at the double the fun moments as days of our live star Eric Martzolf's twin sons celebrate their 18th birthdays. Today, we wishes the twin sons of days of our lives favorite Eric Martzolf and his wife Lisa Kauchak a happy birthday. Born in 2006, Chase and Mason have accomplished their 18th milestone. We welcome viewers to join us on a trip through their lives that is full of twice as many enjoyable memories in observance of the day. Three times as happy. It's evident from one of Martzolf's older pictures of his youngsters where Chase and Mason acquire their adorable smiles. Sulking about. The twins appear to have enjoyed clowning around while posing for these cutout boards from a circus. Esprit de team and at least they are in the same section of the stands, regardless of whether the Spartans are their favorite team or not. Fun with games The ideal way to relax with your twin brother seems to be to sit atop what appear to be two motorcycles, side by side, while racing around a virtual street. Playing around Chase and Mason were playing on the monkey bars, beaming from ear to ear, or, as their father put it, hanging around. Golden hair. Maybe you can connect to that. Martzolf said, Parents. Recall the time we declined to trim our children's hair? Maintaining eye contact. However, things evolved over time. When Martzolf's father stated, Time to get your a hair done, it offered Martzolf an idea of what it might look like years later. 
one of the lads approached the assignment with great seriousness, whereas the other could not help but smile a little. Sunset with Siblings This lovely picture of the boys from a family vacation to Hawaii features them wrapping their arms around one other's shoulders as the sun sets in the distance. Man Time They were also having absolutely zero fun at Lake Las Vegas with their dad on a different excursion. Four-member family. Martsolf expressed his gratitude for the whole world that surrounds them, as well as for his wife and sons. Eleventh birthday. The pleased father of Chase and Mason published a collage of their birthday photos from when they were eleven years old. It showed the several stages leading up to their big day. Teens. After the boys reached adolescence a few years later, Martsolf said, I love these little men more than anything. Oh my goodness, they're teenagers. Aquaman. The twins went to Malibu Water Polo Camp in 2019, which is run by Olympians Terry Schroeder and Merrill Moses, who are currently coaches at Pepperdine University. Together, always better. Martsolf wrote on their 15th birthday, as much as I want to keep referring to you as boys, it's becoming increasingly apparent that you're breaking that barrier, and shared his love for his men. My pride in you surpasses everything else. Remember that you're always better together while you pursue your goals. Sweet 16th birthday. Martsolf also shared some adorable pictures of his boys before the current one, along with the message, Stay sweet my 16-year-old studs, to commemorate their significant achievement. Dad will support you no matter what. All the time. A junior moment. Then, Martsolf declared in August 2022 that his boys' two men were now formally juniors at Westlake High. The world turns around due to love. He posted a couple pictures of his wife and children in February 2023 with the simple message, Love. His wife responded, You are my best accessories to the moon and back. A moment of pride for Papa. And the swimmers Chase and Mason stood the next month, in March 2023, with their water polo competition prizes slung around their necks. Happy birthday to my boys, the star said. Acting accordingly today. For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Days of Our Lives, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.